Do you know that productivity losses due to rising congestion on roads and public transport infrastructure in Australia could double to nearly $40 billion by 2031? Hi, I am Danish Kazmi and I am a PhD candidate and a researcher in the Geotechnical Engineering Center within the School of Civil Engineering at the University of Queensland. My research focuses on finding sustainable and cost-effective solutions to improve the weak ground for infrastructure construction. The increasing population, growing land prices and limited availability of suitable construction sites encourage the need for ground improvement. As cities grow, the pressure to construct on weak and low-lying land inevitably increases. Such land is often overlain by soft and wet soils marked by low bearing capacity and high settlement under load. Various ground improvement techniques have been developed over time to improve the geotechnical parameters and behaviour of these soils. Granular columns, also known as sand or stone columns, are a relatively cost-effective ground improvement technique suitable for a range of problematic soils. They involve creating vertical boreholes in the soil that are incrementally filled with compacted sand or stone, hence creating a column of dense granular material. This creates a composite in the ground possessing relatively high shear strength and low compressibility compared with the original soil. Granular columns could also act as vertical drains since they dissipate the excess pore water pressure induced by loading because of their high permeability. Granular columns release a lower carbon footprint and consume less fuel during installation compared to alternative techniques. This makes them a relatively environmentally friendly option for ground improvement. Natural aggregates such as sand or stone are traditionally used to create granular columns. But these aggregates are depleting and are becoming increasingly expensive due to their overexploitation for use in construction and other applications. To cope with the ever-increasing demand, there is an urgent need to find a suitable replacement for these aggregates. Crushed waste glass could provide an alternative to natural and quarried sand, and it has a similar chemical composition. Approximately 1 million tonnes of waste glass are stockpiled every year in Australia, and its disposal has become an environmental challenge due to the lack of end use and its non-biodegradable nature. Granule columns could offer a great opportunity to use crushed waste glass as a full replacement for large volumes of natural and quarried sand. This could help recycle waste glass, conserve natural and quarried sand resources, reduce the burden on landfills, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions, all supporting the transition towards a circular economy. As part of my PhD research, I studied the shear strength behavior of soft cohesive soil reinforced with a waste glass column and compared it with that reinforced with natural or quarried sand. Kaolin was used as the soft cohesive soil in this study. The advanced high accuracy large direct shear machine available at the University of Queensland was used to test the shear strength of soil column geocomposites. A key reason for using the large direct shear machine was that it allows the testing of relatively large samples and offers a superior control which helps model the field conditions more accurately. Using natural sand, quarried sand and crushed waste glass as column backfill, an end bearing column was installed in the middle of a prepared kaolin bed in the direct shear machine at an area replacement ratio of 16%. All the granular columns were installed at a relative density of 60%. The prepared geocomposites were subjected to a single-stage stress-controlled direct shear test under different normal stresses. The results showed that installing a granular column increased the shear strength of kaolin bed regardless of the type of column backfilling material used. Most interestingly, the crushed waste glass column produced the highest 48% increase in the friction angle of the geocomposite. Also, kaolin reinforced with a crushed waste glass column mobilized relatively greater shear strength under higher normal stresses than that containing natural or quarried sand columns. The possible reason for this favorable behavior could be the higher Young's modulus or stiffness of the angular crushed waste glass particles compared with natural or quarried sand particles. This would attract relatively greater stress to the crushed waste glass column, leading to a stronger geocomposite overall. 
the cross-sectional photos of the geocomposites also revealed that the crushed waste glass column underwent the greatest bulging. The findings of my research strongly support the use of crushed waste glass columns to reinforce the soft and wet clay soils. The use of crushed waste glass as a full replacement for traditional natural or quarried sands in granular column construction could help offer complementary solutions for both the ever-increasing stockpiles of waste glass and depleting natural sand and quarried sand resources. As my research continues, I plan to analyze and compare the settlement performance of granular columns containing natural sand, quarried sand, and crushed waste glass separately. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on my research, please read my article, Kiolin Kile Reinforced with a Granular Column Containing Crushed Waste Glass or Traditional Construction Sands.